Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I'm going to show you is so this this is our NPC character and if I toggle the navigation area this is the generated navigation area for this character and if uh, any point within this green area can be reachable by this uh, NPC character but if the target location is outside that area this character will have problems reaching that location like this place so that's what I am going to uh, show you today how to overcome that problem alright so first to demonstrate the problem I'll do a slight different slight modification to our AI blueprint for here for now what character does is as we did in our previous episode it selects a random point around the character's current location and try to reach that location so since this radius is smaller than this area around this character uh, there's no problem with that so I'll instead of doing that I'll make this character follow the player character's location like this I'll get player character and get the location of the player instead of his location and reduce the this radius to something like 200 and make it and then this uh, at the begin play comma uh, begin play event it will go the command to go to the player's location okay and also I had connected this on success here because when the NPC character reached the desired location it should get another point to follow so I'll disable that for now because I need this character to follow the players location only once alright so now let's see what happens so I'll spawn in this area and yeah now this character can reach our location like this uh, last time it didn't work because I was above ground and the character can't reach uh, a place above the ground so when I spawn somewhere here it can reach my location so but I am still in this green area so let's see what happens when I am outside this green area as you can see the character stays still because he can't find a path to our location player's location so let's try this again when I'm in green area I think I'm outside the green area somewhere here yes this NPC character comes to us all right so to fix that problem I'm going to do something like this I already know this characters according to the settings of this navigation invoker the generation radius is 3000 units and so the maximum distance between the current location of this NPC character and the target location can be 3000 units so keeping that in mind I'm gonna do something like this before giving the command to go to this AI move to location I'm gonna check the distance between this point and the current location of the character 
like this this is how we get the distance between two point or two vectors get at the location right and reduce from this one and get length get vector length okay so this is the distance between the target location and the current location of the character right now I'll collapse this into a function like this get target location and if I make this on PO then I don't need to plug this here like this so I'll make it PO okay now I'll go inside this one and this is our return node and this is our input node and if I'm gonna do a check like this if this one is less than instead of, yes the maximum distance is 3000 but to be safe I'll use 2500 so if this distance is lesser than 2500 I'm gonna return this location if not I'm going to return some point like this I'm gonna calculate some point like this so this is our target I'll name it target so I'm gonna do a little calculation so here we get the direction vector from the character uh, not from character uh, so if I do it like yes from character to the target location so I'm gonna normalize this so that I get the unit direction vector from the character to that target location then I'll multiply with this a scalar something like 1500 and I'm gonna add this one with this one so that so this by doing this I can get a point in between the character and the target location and the NPC character so this uh, the distance between these two points will be always 1500 which is less than 2500 right now I'm gonna use this same get random reachable point in radius node and put the this new location as the origin and give the radius like this and return this one right so by this way I can always get some location that can be reachable by the NPC character but this is not complete yet so let's see what happens I think this NPC character should come to a place somewhere between the character and the player character even if I am outside the screen area all right he's coming and yeah he stopped there so what to do now right okay I'll go back to my here 
and if so if this is a success so that means if the character reach the target location given by this function and I'm gonna do another check with the character location and the target point so for that I have to do the same calculation I did here therefore I'll reduce that into a into a function like this collapse to function and I'll call it get distance and direction because I am reducing this to a function so that I can reuse the same core piece of code there as well so I'll make it a pure function and I'll make it a little cleaner wait I think I should leave this part out so I need only these three this one, this one and this one right collapse to function get distance and direction make it pure and target location P should be current location and this is distance and this is direction direction okay all right so in here I'll use the same one and as the target location I'll put this one and as the current location I'll get the location of the character like this get actor location put it here right and if the distance is less than so this is 200 is the acceptable radius so I'm gonna check the original target location and the current location of the character if it is between 200 that means this uh, NPC character has the originally given target location here uh, branch like this something is wrong with my mouse it drops okay so if it is false I'm gonna call the same method again that means this one so that it will get a new location using this function uh, but the location would be different from what we got earlier because now the current character location is different and if it is true well I don't have to do anything because this AI character must have reached the originally given target location all right so let's see if this works mm, no it's not Let's see if it works when I'm here. Yeah, but it worked earlier as well. So why is not why is so okay? Let me check. Well actually it works. Maybe last time it didn't work because I was above the ground. Let's see. Yeah, 
the character come towards me and it stops there okay for some reason and let's try again okay he come towards me I stopped there and again I stopped right something is still wrong let me check all right so I found the problem the problem is in this uh, project settings under navigation mesh I have to set this runtime generation option into dynamic and also this uh, under the navigation system the active tiles update interval to instead of 60 something less let's I'll put 5 for now and now let's try again and to see the updating of navigation data I'll uh, Put show navigation option here so that you can see the screen area is updating as the character comes closer all right so he comes towards us so yeah okay so what we did is so now it's working so let's try it again so I'll go to some area a little further than this and see okay we are here and I'll toggle debug camera so that I can fly away and see where this character is all right so he's here and he's going towards the player character where's our character he's here all right so what happened Okay, I think that's because this. Let me show navigation. Right. So he's not moving anymore because he must have encountered some area in this nav navigation not generated areas. But uh, let's fix that problem later because uh, this episode has already taken. 18 minutes and I don't want to make it any longer than that all right so but still we have some fairly good navigation system this character can reach wherever the world of the player character is and except this unnavigable areas because of land uh, slope and other static meshes but yeah so okay so let's work on improvements for this system uh, in the coming episodes and also melee combat all right see you in the next video goodbye